Hey, hi. In this video, we're going to see how to host a static web page on AWS S3 bucket. As you see in this screen, this is my example static web page for my business. That is Oxy Cap System. That is, uh, I, I know my business, which is actually provides a hospital related web applications. So I have created an example, um, you know, the static website. This is how it looks. Now, in this video, I'm going to take you through a steps that you need to follow to host your business static website, right? So whenever you are starting a new business, starting from even from selling a pen to selling an aeroplane, you need to have a static web page or you need to have a web page at least to advertise your applications or to advertise your business, right? So nowadays, having a site is must for any business. For the purpose of advertisement or for the purpose of making your business known to the clients basically right so in this case is the first step that is to have a static website right so aws cloud is giving us a wonderful service called amazon s3 bucket you might have been aware of that in this s3 bucket so basically the s3 bucket is dedicated for storing the data with a low cost storage this service provides very low cost storage but also it has a capability to host a static website. So when I say static website in the sense, a single HTML page, how you can make a single HTML page accessible across the internet and acting as a static website for your business, right? So without being late here, what I do is, you know, I'm going to first tell you that I have an example index.html file, which is nothing but my business front end page. That is just a static page. And that's the reason we call it as a static website. Now, how to host this on a low cost storage service that is Amazon S3 bucket, right? So we can also host this, you know, page on a servers or, you know, or, or it could be any kind of pass hosting systems in from the AWS. But choosing a static site, static website is, is very cost effective. Nearby you experience, you know, maybe very, very less cost basically. Yeah? So let's go ahead and see how to create that. Okay, so for that case, the first step is go back to the Amazon S3 bucket, create a bucket now. Maybe I recommend you to create a bucket with your business name, right? For example, say I will call it as a xyzbusiness.com. Yeah, so let's say that you know your business name is something like this. Hope that you know this is this this name of the bucket is available in the internet now. So what I do is I'm gonna create this bucket, click on this bucket, that's all basically yeah so for now what is the first step that we did is we created a bucket needed for my business and uh, generally i gave a name with which is actually near to my business you know uh, application name now within this you know what you can do is you know you need to do a next step that is uh, open this bucket um, uh, go to the properties in the properties if you dig down there's an option called static website hosting okay so click on that and uh, by default it will be disabled you can click on enable right so it says you know static website hosting so enable in the sense you are turning it on now which is by default disabled so basically hosting type is host a static web page you can also have this static website can also have a redirecting requests on this page as well that is also possibility but for now i'm just telling you how to host a static page of your business okay and i believe that you know you might have created an an html page which is accessible in the internet and shows information about your business. So generally we name that kind of file, that kind of a static file called as index.html file. If you go back, it says index. Okay, so you can just rename it whatever it shows here. Say like index.html. Yeah. So we create a static web page that is static HTML page with a name like uh, uh, index.html. And that index.html would be designed something like this. Okay, so I have designed this, um, you know, the HTML page according to my business. That is OxyCaf Systems. It is, you know, basically, a, you know, a, a company which provides, you know, the hospital websites. You know, the websites needed for hospital management or hospital operations. Right. So likewise, you can design your own index.html file and keep your, you know, that name here. And the rest all options for now, just ignore it and click on directly click on a save, right? So with this option, you know, you are done with the step number two. Then you need to go to the step number three called, you know, basically go to the um, permissions. In the permissions, there is an option called block access. By default, 
any S3 bucket which are present on the, uh, you know, the, any, any buckets that you create on AWS accounts are by default, you know, restricted to be accessible from the internet, which is best practice. That's the reason, you know, AWS enforces that. Since we are hosting a static website in this bucket, so we need to remove this off so that the content present in this, um, you know, uh, in this bucket becomes accessible over the internet. Okay, so I'm going to confirm it now for now. So this is the step number three that you need know to make. That is basically first you created a bucket, then you change the, you know, the, the static website configuration. Then you went back to the block public access and then you are turning off the block public access feature on this bucket. So basically you did a three a step number three. Now, with that being said, so basically we are almost done with the, uh, you know, uh, configuration that we need to manage. Now we need to upload our, um, you know, the index.html file. So, so index.html file for this case, you know, for this demo purpose, I have created an index.html file. This index.html file, not only just, a, you know, a single, just like, a, you know, it is not only just uses the HTML properties or HTML schemas and just created only with HTML, you know, HTML schema schemas, but it also consumes certain images. I'm going to show you those images like it, it consumes email. It has some, some pictures. Okay. So that picture also need to be dynamically, you know, access should be displayed in the static page. Okay. So for that case, you know, I have referencing these many PNG files. I'm going to show you that a couple of minutes, how to do that. First, let's upload that index.ps, uh, you know, index.html file, which is a step number, you know, four here. So we're going to click on upload and choose this index.html file. And, uh, and, you know, so you can just directly upload. Once that is been uploaded, so basically I'm going to go to the, um, I'm going to go to close and try to upload the images as well. So right now, you know, right now the, your site should be accessible. You can, I can show you that right away. You go to the properties and go down to the, uh, you know, the static website hosting, click on this link. So automatically the site becomes accessible here. You see that, you know, so why it is forbidden. So there is a one more, uh, the configuration, which I'm missing. That is, I have not enabled policies on this bucket. Okay. That is a step number five. So what I do is I'm going to copy a default policies, which I have already configured on my static website, which is created for my business. So I'll go to the permissions. I'm going to copy this, uh, you know, this, uh, this policy and we're going to keep the same policy. Yeah, indeed we have to keep the same policy. So we go to that xyzbusiness.com bucket and go to the permissions. And then we're going to go to the edit policy bucket policy. So this is the policy, you know, you need to keep it here. So before, so basically this is just a, a you know, a JSON statement, which actually tells that, you know, it actually policy declares that, you know, only read operations are being allowed on this bucket. Okay. That's a, that's a basically, you know, the, the governance configurations that we do on this bucket. Why we have to do this because we have enabled public access, which is very dangerous. So that's the reason AWS tells us to do this once you enable the public access, right? So for that said, you know, we need to change this bucket name as well. So I'm going to change that bucket name here. So I'm going to go back and, and this completes. So basically this marks the, you know, the, um, S3 bucket policy needed for this bucket. Okay. So with that, I'm going to save this right away. So basically we have a configured bucket a policy as well. It's a very simple policy. You see that, you know, the basically SID is public read get object. Uh, effect is allow for all type of, uh, you know, the clients and the action allowed is get object where on this S3 bucket. Okay. That's what we have done. Now, earlier we saw that it was in forbidden. Now what I do is I'm going to refresh it now. Here you go. My site is working, right? So you might be wondering, so how come these pictures are loading, right? You see this picture, this picture, this picture, and also these three pictures, these three pictures are loading on my static website. So how, because I'm going to show you here that, um, in this index.html file, if we go to the image references, um, in the image references or, or basically you see that images. Okay. So in this images, I'm referencing those image files from a bucket, which is actually a public bucket, publicly accessible bucket. And there, those images I have kept in a bucket, S3 bucket called something like, you know, master images. And if I go down, so basically those are also sitting in a bucket, something, these buckets, and that bucket is publicly accessible. And henceforth, these images are loading from them, right? So what I do is I'm going to keep those objects, keep those images in this bucket and let's make the references from that. Okay. So for that case, what I do is I'm going to go back to this bucket and I'm going to upload those three images right away. 
and we're going to change the you know the the index.html file okay so i'm just going to go back go to the images i'm going to copy all the images and click on this one and then upload so once you upload here so basically the image reference changes that's all okay so to change that image reference what you do is you're going to click on one of the image and there will be a default link you see that you know so you we just copy this image that is for email and uh, we go to the this index.html file so this is image see now the url of the image will change right so earlier it was something else now it is being changed to that so basically amazon.com so i'm going to go to that so this is the bucket yeah this is uh, basically i have created a global bucket right it's not related to the um, so this is not related to the um, uh, you know so the so the, the earlier image basically i have uh, since this is a global bucket that's the reason it is the url is getting shortened here the bucket which i have created is belongs to ap southeast one because why did i do is my business consumers or my business clients are sitting in this region only to make the accessibility of this static websites fast i have created a bucket in this region but generally recommendation is to create in a global page okay in, in the global bucket itself so likewise we're going to change uh, the references of the other images and then we re-upload the index.html file and that should be working after that as well so i'm going to copy this uh, phone image in this index.ph uh, html file so i'm going to just uh, just change it here likewise there is another references to the images that is uh, one of the image i'm using in the in the static page this is the image so that is uh, nothing but uh, from here so i'm going to go to that uh, uh, master image.png file and we're going to copy the object url and let's refresh this here as well uh, basically replace it here so with that being said my static website is now completely hosted on this xyzbusiness.com bucket and uh, you know so now you know basically to do that what i do is i'm gonna go to the uh, upload again and we're gonna re-upload the index.py fi index.html file basically so this is index.html file we're gonna re-upload which means that you know it's gonna replace the content actually so okay so we have uh, successfully re-uploaded and then if you refresh it now so basically these images are now being you know referenced from the your xyz business.com not from the another bucket so so that's the reason now you see that you know the application right so you if you see the url so this becomes your static website url and you can give this you know you can make this you know url available or you can use this url and advertise this you know basically you can advertise your advertise your uh, business with using this references this url so likewise you see that you know the url is is different here in the other side but it is the same thing it is which is getting loaded why because there are two bucket setup which is i have already done on this one so similarly i showed you right away that in this bucket we did a same one and my static application is now up and running fine yeah all right so with that note i have shown you how to set up a static website on amazon s3 bucket which is very low cost and it helps business to make your business well known to the clients all right so with that note thank you very much for watching my videos kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video